Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I should do a little bit of a chit chat video because I've been thinking about this particular bag for practically all this year. It has been a little bit of an obsession in my head, but I think I'm starting to outgrow this obsession a little bit. And it doesn't mean that I don't still want this bag. I absolutely still do, but I just wanted to hear your opinions and take a temperature as to what the pulse is like regarding none other than the infamous Amaz Mini Kelly. So back in June, when this was like, I would say the peak of my obsession, I was actually thinking of just short-circuiting the whole process of the Hermes game and just buying a Mini Kelly on the resale market. Yes, it is exorbitant, for the amount of bag that you're getting, it is definitely not worth the price tag you're going to pay, especially on the resale market. But at that point, I remember just obsessing about this bag daily and nightly. And I have even saved on my Instagram a whole folder of mini Kellys. And the problem is that I couldn't actually figure out which color to get because initially I thought, okay, a mini Kelly would be great in a pop of color like red or pink. While that might still be the case, and I would still definitely want to have a mini Kelly in a pop of color, I actually think that a mini Kelly in a black and gold hardware or a off-white and gold and cray or nata or mushroom would be actually perfect. But, and but, 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 there are so many buts to this whole mini Kelly dilemma. I just couldn't for the life of me feel like it was justified to pay the price for such a mini bag. And back then, I think I was looking at Steph from Handbagholic's review on her mini Kelly dupe from Lily and Bean. And also IMGPS. IMGPS also did post a opinion that, and I can't remember which video of his it was, but it's been a while now that IMGPS actually thinks that the Mini Kelly is getting overblown, it is overdone. You see it everywhere on social media and it is kind of overplayed at this point. That doesn't mean that I am over it, but it just gives me pause to reassess why I really want this bag. At this point, I feel like my desire for the Mini Kelly has completely been influenced and fabricated by social media. And it's this myth of a legendary bag that, you know, it used to be the Birkin 25 over here. I went through a similar craze, but I would say like the, Bir the Birkin 25 is actually a very, it is a very useful bag. You can put a whole ton of stuff in here and I have used this bag so much. I absolutely adore using it. I love the Birkin style so much, no question about it. But the Mini Kelly, it's tiny. So on that vein, I decided to order a Mini Kelly dupe on Lily and Bean. And that is none other than the Hattie bag. And I ordered this bag in June and I have been using it since. For the month of July and August, I lent this bag to my mom. And she was using this bag every day for a month on cruise. I, I reboxed it so that I could unbox it here. I have given this bag a rest because it has been heavily in use for quite some time now. And it is the Lillian Bean Hattie mini bag. So it comes in the dust bag like that. It comes in that box. And it's in this color, Snow White, on the website. And on the website, you will see that they ask you to put your initials in the middle on the side of the bag. And you can choose actually to have no initials, which I think everybody likes. It comes with two straps. It comes with that fabric guitar strap, which I think everybody's tired of that right now. So, and it does come with a longish shoulder strap. And let's just dive straight into the comparison between the Hattie bag and what I've researched on the Mini Kelly bag. So this Hattie bag is actually 19 cm across the base, which is the same dimension as a Mini Kelly bag. And for the side of the Mini Hattie bag, it is very, very slightly larger than the actual Mini Kelly bag from Hermes. The side is 5.8 cm deep, and that translates to 2.3 inches. And a Mini Kelly is actually 5.5 cm deep, and that is 2.17 inch, so it's very minuscule of a difference. The height is the most notable difference. I would say that the Mini Hattie has a height of 13.5 centimeters high up to this point of the bag, 5.3 inches. And the actual Mini Kelly is 1.5 centimeters shorter and it puts it down at 
12 centimeters tall, so that is 4.7 inches in height for the actual Mini Kelly. So actual Mini Kelly is actually smaller than this bag. Nonetheless, I still think that this is a pretty good dupe for the Mini Kelly. And I say dupe and not replica because there is no logo, no stamping. There's no trademark infringement, I would say. There's no logos or a mess and engraving or stamping anywhere in the bag. There's none of that on this bag. I'm not really that familiar with copyright infringement laws and um, I'm just going to take it that this is above board because they have been openly selling this bag for quite a very long time now. Also, the strap, the strap is a bit longer than what you would get on a Mini Kelly. A Mini Kelly strap can range from 85 centimeters to 98.5 centimeters, whereas this is 110 centimeters long, including the class, it would be 116 centimeters long. This is a great crossbody bag. It is a bit long for on the shoulder, but I would say that it is extremely comfortable and easy to use. It does come with a texture that is close to Epsom leather, as I, I can tell, because when I get my Epsom leather bags, I don't know if you can tell here. Maybe I'll have to put in some close-ups, but yeah, there's some, it's basically stamped, like heat-pressed texture. It's an artificially stamped texture onto the leather to give a very even and uniform finish to the bag. So it is extremely durable. I've gotten this wet and it's just like water off the duck's back. It just rolls off, wipe it clean, there's no blistering. So using this bag has made me feel like, yes, there is definitely a place for a bag this size in my wardrobe. I can definitely see myself using the Mini Kelly bag after using this bag for the last four months now. It does have the same closure and I do find it rather fiddly. So more often than not, I would be carrying it like that. The hardware has been, the wear on this Lillian Bean bag has not been great on the hardware. They, you can see that some of the gold, um, some of the gold plating here has kind of scraped off. And you can start seeing the metal, the silver metal color on the turn knob here. In general, I would say that the hardware on this bag doesn't wear amazingly, but it's also $260 Sing dollars. And that translates to 167 US dollars on their website. I mean, it's not a luxury priced bag. I would say for the price point, it does deliver that Mini Kelly vibe without the actual price tag. I looked up the prices of Mini Kelly's right now and they are around the range of 8,000 US dollars or 650 euros, which is kind of like a large difference because uh, translated back to Sing dollars, that is somewhere between 9,000 Sing dollars to 11,000 Sing dollars. So I also want to point out that the actual Mini Kelly bag does not come with any key lock clochette, just like what you get here. There is no frills to the bag. But all in all, having this bag made me think that I definitely need to have a white bag in my collection, an off-white bag. While this is very, very useful, it is also extremely tiny. And for the amount of money that I am actually spending on this bag, I'd like a proper bag. And I'm not sure if this feels to me like a proper bag. It feels like a toy of a bag. I absolutely adore it. And maybe I will buy a Mini Kelly sometime down the road. But at the same time, I, I feel like maybe I should get a proper Kelly bag before I get a Mini Kelly. So let me know your thoughts down in the in the comments below if you think that my, if you agree with my line of reasoning and, and also if you think that the Mini Kelly bag is a proper bag. Previously, I was thinking, okay, I would never want to have a black and gold Mini Kelly because I already have a black and gold Chanel bag that comes in the reissue, in the classic flap, in the medium size, and I also have it in the Chanel 19. So I have a lot of black and gold options but when i saw karen britchick with her black and gold mini kelly it just made me want to have one so badly so you tell me am, am i being brainwashed here am i being just led down the yellow brick road to handbag insanity because honestly i never really wanted a mini kelly until i started being on social media and i started watching all these people and i started following all these instagram accounts how do i deprogram myself how am i supposed to know what i truly want now the other thing about the mini kelly bag is that i think that 
using this bag, I didn't baby it around at all. And so it was extremely fun to just bring it out, have a ball and not worry. But I can tell you that if this was actually a real Hermes mini Kelly bag, I would be babying this bag. No matter how much I tell myself to use my bags, and I do use my bags, especially with a brand new bag that feels the need to baby it. I absolutely don't baby my Blue Paradise Birkin because this was bought in a pre-loved condition. I initially babied my store offer a lot, but now a lot less so. And the same with this Birkin, it is also bought from a resale market in a brand new condition. And in the beginning, I babied it a lot, but this year I have been using it in a very carefree manner and just embracing the slouch of the Togo leather. So uh, yeah, this is where I am at in my thoughts on the Mini Kelly. Please tell me if you think it's already overdone, if we're all oversaturated, are we sick of seeing this bag around or is it just absolutely so cute because I love it, honestly. I am actually recording this video on my Google, my old phone, which is the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And the dimensions of the Google Pixel 7 are very similar to the iPhone Max Pro. And that phone can barely fit in. This is the Samsung Flip and it definitely... <laughs> I definitely did get a flip phone for my mini bags. It is about a centimeter longer than the iPhone. So I can put it in, but it is kind of like smooshed up in there. So I do think that you can fit your iPhone Max inside here. I can fit a Kelby Duo. I have a card case. I have my key clay. And lastly, I have my Hermes lipstick. I can put it inside here. Just put it right on the top. Honestly, if I don't have my key clay in my, my key clay there, I can just put the lipstick where the key clay is. So there's definitely enough space for it. And there we go. It fits. I absolutely love using this bag. So definitely a mini Kelly will be somewhere in my future horizon. I don't know when. And yeah, but I think that for the time being, I might actually aim for a proper Kelly handbag in a 25 size before I go ahead with a, a mini Kelly. So let me know if you think that I made the right choice in requesting for Kelly 25 over a mini Kelly. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe subscribe. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!